welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy Steen. Your workout today is a low impact cardio core. Of course, with Move Daily Fitness, low impact does not mean low intensity. We are gonna get that heart rate up and burn some calories today. All right, if you want to grab some light dumbbells, some of those cardio moves, we could certainly kick it up a little bit by holding lighter dumbbells. Feel free to grab those or do it without. I'm gonna start you with a little warm up and then we'll go right into it and we'll end with a cool down, of course. Hey, if you love cardio workouts and maybe you're looking for a higher intensity one next time, click the card at the top of the screen and check out my playlist there. All right, are you ready to move daily? Let's go. hit training on my watch because it is hit even though it's low impact just means we're gonna save our joints a bit but again I like to get the heart rate up because I want to feel like I've worked up you know what I'm saying <laughs> and I still got the energy I hope you do this morning as well let's reach up and over <clears throat> yeah and adding those five pound dumbbells or three pound even certainly I mean, it's light, but it just really does make a big difference in getting that heart rate up as well. Okay, let's do some shoulder circles here. Big stretch. Switch directions. All right, I'm gonna take it wide. I'm gonna nice lunge to the side, sort of drop my shoulder and switch sides, stretching in that inner thigh and lower back a bit. One more each side. Oh, feels good. Last one here. Let's keep it wide. Toes are out. Squat and open in the chest. Position, let's touch the toes. Warm those hamstrings up a bit here, nice and slow. Okay, two more. All right, and some hip openers here. I just made some homemade protein bars with chia seeds in them, but I let the chia seeds sort of reconstitute in the wet ingredient. They're all on my teeth now. <laughs> Throughout this whole workout, I'm gonna be having like second lunch. Right back there. <laughs> I like them, but they're sort of annoying. Okay, last one right there. Let's get started. Grab your five pound dumbbells. Your first exercise is gonna be weighted. All right, take it wide, stance. Right here, you're gonna squat low and out to the side right there. Again, go ahead and do this without dumbbells if you wish. Just watch your face here and up. Good. So on cardio, one core, we're gonna alternate those two things throughout this whole workout. Shoulders back, 10 seconds here. All right, taking it down into plank. Modify from the knees if you need. I'm just gonna do plank, tap out to the side, or you can jack like that. Here we go, tap, and tap, good. Thumb is down, and head is neutral, looking at your hands.
up in a side squat. Alternating sides here. Come right to the center. Here we go. Low. Together, low. Side of your knee. All right, here we go. And reach slow. again. Good job. All right, a little squat. Reverse lunge combo. Stay on the same side until I call half. Here we go. Drop it low and back. Squat and back. Don't come up. Stay in that low position here. All right, switch sides and back. side to side. Mod from the knees right here. Here we go. Low. That's it. Feel those obliques. Crunching each side as you dip those hips. Good, 10 seconds, let's go. All right, quick transition to standing. Frog squat leg lift, touch the ground. Lift up, but don't stand up. I'll call half. Take it low and lift, same side. Good. All right, last one here. Now switch. Standing ab coming up. All right, standing here. We're gonna crunch and then straight leg. We're gonna stay on the same side. I'll come half. Here we go. And elbow to knee, straight leg. Crunch here. I really want you to bring that elbow to the outside of the knee. Give me that good twist. That's it. Last one on this side. All right, switch your legs. Here we go, and twist, and up. We're gonna grab those weights now. 
All right, cross body punch. But we're gonna get in a low squat position right here without weights if you need and turn a punch right there. You can keep your head forward or punch to the diagonal if you don't wanna get dizzy. Stay low, come on, a little lower. One more standing ab as well here. All right, set those to the side. Take it wide. Squat low. And we're gonna reach center and reach. Here we go. Reach and reach. Nice little quad burn as well here, hey? Why not? <clears throat> Ooh, that burn is real, almost there. Shake it out, hiya. Good, okay, you're gonna go for just a jumping jack. So right here to mod, you can do a full jack if you like. Here we go. while doing a high knee, alternating the knee, so you're here and here, here we go, up, that's it, these five pounds will no doubt burn those arms out, nice and quick. for a Russian twist next. I'm gonna hold both dumbbells for that. All right, just holding them right together here. You're gonna do this without. More slowly, side to side. Lean it back, here we go. Low, low, nice and slow. Keep the dumbbells close to the body. And crunch. Coming up, I'm going to use one five. 
All right, holding one dumbbell. Lunge position. We're gonna rotate up and down. Here we go. Up, turn, and down. Hold that stationary lunge if this feels too tricky on your knees. We're gonna go into hand and toe plank, alternating hand and toe tap. Let's gonna grab a quick sip. You need one too. All right, in plank, hand and toe go, tap, same time, up to the side, tap it here, now switch, here. down here for a superman knee tap for your cardio. A little ab though as well. All right, flip it. Plank position. Right hand comes to right for right foot to right hand. Opposite knee tap. Back, back. Right here. Let's go. Back, back. Tap. So opposite hand touches your knee. Alright, standing, 
thing, grab your dumbbells. We're gonna do a wide pulse front punch. Yellow. Here we go. You're pulsing and punching. Shoulders back. Stick your chest out here. Fives will feel heavy in a second here. Side to side, V-sit is next. All right, you can put your dumbbells there. We're gonna do side here, and then this side, single leg to mod. Here we go, you're here, up, here, here's your mod, one, and one. Lean it back, lean it back, let's go. back into that plie squat, but this time overhead punch. So hold it here, drop, alternating right here. Let's go. That's it. Twenty seconds. Doing well. Someone asked me the other day, how do you know when it's half time? I have my laptop sitting right there with the timer and beeper so I can see it. I'm gonna take a break as soon as this one's done in four, three, two, shake it out, grab some water, and join me for the second half. Let's go on your back for a turtle crunch. So head and shoulders are off the ground. You're gonna try and touch alternating heels, ready, Lift it up, here we go, and tap, 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 good. Really try to reach and touch that heel or even further down your foot. You are actually gonna stay down here for your next cardio. We're gonna do a full sit up with six front punches, so I'm gonna grab my dumbbells. All right, if you can't do the full sit up, you could just sit here and punch right here, okay? Otherwise, full sit up, six punches, then lay back down. All right, up, one, two, three, four, five, six, and down. Up, one, two, three, four, five, six. Crunching up, I'll call halfway to switch the legs. Here we go, and crunch. Now if this hurts your back, your bent knee is going on the floor and the foot's on the floor like this. Otherwise, off the ground if you can, and crunch. Good. One more here, switch your legs and up.
All right, up you go. Cardio kicks are next. Make sure you're waiting by the way. You're here and here. Nice and quick and here. Good, let's work. Use those hands. Spider-Man crunch into diagonal, so you're out to the side, then you cross switch legs. Here we go. Take it out and cross switch, out and cross. Hold the plank to mod. Good, you're doing crawling lunges, like a pendulum swing, but you don't come up out of that lunge position. I'll call half, nice and low, and front, and back. Shoulders back, stay tall. All right, switch legs. bottom. We're going to travel to the bottom to the top. Ready? And switch, switch, switch to the bottom and up, up, up to the top and down. And up. All right, stand up for a side lunge, twist. So you're gonna lunge here, twist here, same side, I'll call that. Low, up here, low, good. Switch sides. Going to go into a seated bicycle. If you can't sit because of tailbone issues, lie on your back. All right. Seated position. Break as you need. Reach those legs right out. Let's go.
Very good. Okay, stand. You're gonna do a jack front punch, overhead press. I'm gonna grab my fives. Core is engaged. And up. And up. Good with fives. That feels like work. Definite shoulder activation. Flutter kick coming up. I'm just gonna grab a quick sip after this. Good. On your back. Flutter kick. Here we go. Per leg, really feel that burn. Front side reverse lunge, then we'll switch side reverse. Stay on this side, go front again, and side and reverse. You're here for 40 seconds. Do not leave me. Good, okay, switch sides. Let's get those guys out of the way. Whew, sweaty now. Front lunge, shoulder is back, and low to the side, and reverse, same side. Walk out, plank position, you're gonna walk, walk, back, back. You can modify this from the knees. Bum down, I'm gonna walk onto my more stable surface here, my rubberized floor. Try not to rock your hips here. next for our cardio. You could kick it up down here, but I'll show you the mod, which is what I'll do, the low impact. Okay, here's the regular. Mod is hover with an alternating ceiling kick. Here we go. Hover, kick it up, switch, up, good. Nice neutral core, neutral head looking down at your hands. Bum is down on the kick, up. Banana boat rockers next. Ooh, good quads here. 
flip it over. Okay, get into your banana boat. You're here, we're gonna rock side to side. All right, this is hard. Up, little, little, little. Try to take your feet off the ground if you can. Head and shoulders. Rest as you need, it's hard. Here we go. And up and up. Okay, we did the hip hop, now we're gonna do a hip hop with a leg extension. So pop, bend, extend, hands under, up, low. Pop it to the ceiling, and then extend it out. here, low, boom, just like that, let's go, and here, and here, try to squat in the center, like that, good job, butterfly sit up is next, I'm going to grab one of those fives and head to my back, Up, 
All right, on your bottom, lay it out. Bring it in, palms up. Here we go. Out and in. More difficult is not putting the feet on the ground. If you need the rest, you're here. Let's go, you got 20 seconds. Almost there. Last three, two, one and done. New move daily in your cardio core workout. Awesome, join me for a stretch if you can. All right, join me down here for a stretch. If you're wondering how I could have done that on a long sleeve shirt, I'm also wondering. It's ventilated. <laughs> oh, mercy. Let's go to a glute stretch, cross your leg over. You can press gently the knee away from you and pull the other leg towards you to increase that stretch. Just do it nice and slow though. That's good. Very good. Oh, just increase that stretch slightly. And switch sides. And press out. Are you hard on yourself? Let's talk about that for a few seconds. It's really easy to be hard on yourself and actually full disclosure, I was talking to my therapist the other day. Uh, yes, I was a therapist and yes, I have seen a therapist. <laughs> No shame in that for sure. Let's do a hamstring stretch. And she, I was talking about like not feeling strong enough like emotionally or in my boundaries or whatever and like why, why am I not that way? And then I got sort of emotional and she said, is that a familiar feeling? And I thought back to my, you know, life and childhood and it is. It's a very familiar feeling for me to just kind of go, I'm not enough, right? And so I thought about that you know, all weekend. Let's go into butterfly stretch down here, feet together, knees open. And what she said to me, you know, was such great words of wisdom. And you know it to be true, but sometimes you just don't practice those things. And she said, um, you don't have to, you don't have to get it right every time. You don't have to be perfect every time. And I tell my kids that, let's go into quads right here. But somehow I don't hold myself to the same standard. Somehow I expect myself to get it right every single time without the allowance of, you know, at times not getting it right. I mean, and that can translate into your relationship with food. It can translate into your relationship with fitness, into your relationships. Uh, it all translates and it really, you know, boils down to having that compassion for self and uh, allowing yourself to be the fallible human that you are. And that's hard sometimes, you know, when, well, especially I, I'm in the public eye, you know, there's lots of people watching. And so in your mind, sometimes you think, well, I've got to be, I've got to be perfect. And even though I would never expect that of other people, somehow I still, lean towards expecting that of myself and you know I think there's a fine line that starts the chest between that and also just you know wanting to be perfect and also wanting to be professional um, wanting to do my best right but still giving myself grace and compassion when life happens I guess and so that was my lesson this week let's just reach across reach in front um, just to, if, if I don't feel strong and it's okay, you know, I don't have to get it every time. And I thought those were really great words of wisdom. I'm going to make that my mantra this week, this month. You don't have to get it right every time, Trace. You're just doing the best you can and that is good as well. All right. I just thought I'd share that today. I hope that inspires you wherever you are at in your journey as well. Thanks for joining. If you're looking for a workout to tomorrow, for tomorrow, I recommend a strength one. Tap there or there, and I'll see you in the next workout.